This week, James Franco was selected as the Pudding's Man of the Year, probably thanks to his Teen Choice Award nomination. And the campus goes crazy for Darwin's 200th birthday, causing me to wish I had naturally selected any other school. Classes can wait. You're on Harvard time. Last month, a Harvard dining hall manager allegedly tried to make two female employees go back to work by asking them, quote, what are you, lesbians? HUDS has started an investigation, which we imagine will go something like this. All right, Jerry. I know you said it. I didn't say nothing. I know you said it. We have two witnesses. I'm telling you, for the last time, I didn't say nothing. God damn it, Jerry! Just admit it. You're insensitive. She's losing it. She's letting her emotions get into the case. Chief, give me a shot at the dirt bag. No, Jeff, you're gay. It's a conflict of interest. Give me five minutes. If I don't have a confession, you can pull me out. Five minutes. Don't more than five minutes. You're good. <sighs> I have some pictures to show you. What do you think of when you see this? What are they, lesbians? And this? What is she, a lesbian? And those two dining hall workers? What are they, Look. Oh. <laughs> okay, I did it. I'm sorry, I just wanted them to get back to making the vegetarian vulgar pilaf. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Alex, I had the best Valentine's Day. We went out to this nice dinner, and then I rubbed lotion Shut over. Shut up! Valentine's Day is just a time for couples to gloat shamelessly while all the singles give themselves the same old Hallmark card holiday bullshit spiel in a failed effort to make this day at least as pleasant as grinding your head in a wood chipper and smashing up the remains with your rock-hard shriveled heart. Wow. I never thought of it that way. Well, at least it could be worse. Check this out. I can't remember any facts, but this I can't forget. I only see you once a week. You're the grad who leads my section. But every time we speak, I want to give you an erection. Now other schools, they say T.A. Cause they aren't quite as elite But I think you by any other name Would smell as sweet So tell me teaching fellow How long is your office hours And how hard is the final exam And would my grade go up if I brought you flowers Or would my grade go up If I went down to the library To study more Or pleasured you orally Or something I think I'm in love with my TF And I don't know what to do I have so many course-related questions But I think the only answer is you Don't care if you're going bald or you have genitals. All I can think about is getting into your tight J. Crew shorts. Yeah, you can teach me about justice or the molecules of life. But all I want to learn is how I can become your wife. So tell me, teaching fellow, can I see your? Solution said, and just how rough is the work for this class? And would my grade go up if I was your teacher's pet? Or maybe if I let you touch my ass or my boobs or my vagina? Oh, 
On a less romantic note, Alston residents have grown frustrated with Harvard's consideration of other locations for its stem cell research facility. We turn to Pete Davis for his take on the situation. Listen, Alston, we need to talk. Harvard is just not that into you. Wow, breaking up just after Valentine's Day? What went wrong? Well, things have changed. There's something unpleasant between us. A rift, if you will. An icy, unfordable rift. Some call it the Charles River, but I call it growing apart. This distance has forced us to revert to our former ways. You know, we've been flirting with our old flame, the quad. But Pete, construction has already begun in Austin. Harvard started building that science complex last year. I thought that meant something. Okay, to be, to be perfectly honest, we were pretty drunk that night and ready to break ground on anything that sat still long enough. Look, Austin, we're beginning to think we don't even know you. Are you a city? Are you part of Boston? You're not even on the red line. I don't think I'm ready for anything long distance. And we've heard you got something going on with Northeastern and that just skeeves us out. Have, have you been tested recently? So we're ditching Austin just like that? Uh, don't worry, uh, we might get really drunk over Harvard Yale and stumble on over. But we're gonna need our business school back. All right, thanks Pete. Thank you for watching, we'll be back next week. These are delicious. Now here's a moment that could happen only at Harvard. Mm. Please congratulate our 2009 Hasty Pudding Theatricals Woman of the Year, Renee Zellweger. Harvard. I didn't know this place was fun! <laughs> you want me to do what? You want me to crawl on the ground? Who do you think I am? This is some bull****! <laughs> f*** you! F*** you! F*** you! I'm out! This is ridiculous! I've never had to do nothing like this in my life! I thought I wouldn't see him crawling on the ground! This nasty Harvard 